everyone, and welcome to CTV. My name is Sierra Artemis, and I am your host. Guys, today is episode 10, and I'm super excited. And today's show is sponsored by Master's Touch Massage Therapy. Please subscribe to my Facebook, that's Sierra Artemis TV. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sierra Artemis. Do not forget to turn those notifications on. Um, the purpose of CTV is to highlight minority businesses, creatives, and entrepreneurs in hopes to inspire you on the other side of this screen to go out and chase your goals and your dreams. Have you guys heard of Seven Sunday? If not, you should. You should definitely look into that. Um, if you like live music um, and if you like music in general, it's definitely going to be something for you, especially if you live in uh, Columbia and in the surrounding areas. Um, so my guest today is the creator. He is the executive producer of Seven Sundays. Um, I have Dion Generet. Thank you, Mr. Generet, for joining me today. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for having me, Sarah. It's a pleasure to be here. Awesome, awesome. So tell us a little bit about Seven Sunday and how we can check it out. Okay, well, Seven Sunday is the only live thing. Uh, re on, hold on, let me get it right. I'm messing up my <laughs> own slogan. Do you see that? All right, no. the only recurring live theme music show in the Carolinas and beyond, uh, where we have a variety of entertainment and we showcase uh, local musicians as well as uh, musicians from around the world. Uh, for the first our one year anniversary, we had Tweet. Uh, we've had various artists from around Columbia and surrounding areas. And so um, it's a lot of fashion, art, culture. So we use the themes and all that stuff. Uh, you know, we also highlight small businesses. Uh, all these things are going on. Our, our events have games and trivia and giveaways and all this stuff. So it's a combination of all that stuff for career professionals that want to come back to a place and have a good time and start their week off uh, refreshed and ready to win. OK, so yeah. how, how can we check it out? www.7 the number 7 sunday.live you go there it'll take you to all our social media handles uh you can ask us any questions you may have it'll take you to youtube where you can go see some of our latest productions um because as you know we're on watch fox now so every saturday okay, night, awesome. at night um okay. and so yeah with that you know if you want to check it out that's that's a good way to start Okay, yeah. um, so uh, that is at the bottom of the screen scrolling, guys, at 7 live. Okay, awesome. And it's also going to be on Watch Fox Saturdays at midnight. Every Saturday. So that means, okay, that means 11 o'clock on Friday, an hour from then. No. Or midnight as in going into Sunday. Sunday. Midnight as in going into Sunday. Listen, we know it's kind of oh. confusing. We asked okay. about it. This is the best option okay. we have. <laughs> it's okay. It's, you know what? It's better than nothing. Okay, right. so we're going to just, so I'm just going to change gears just a little bit because I want people to get to know who you are. So okay. um, who is Dion uh, Generet and and where are you from and and what is your connection to music? Ooh. Let me see. I can Ooh. just fly this <laughs> <laughs> We don't have enough time. But um, I am a uh, uh, PK, Pastor Son. Um, I come from the humble beginnings of Johnsonville, South Carolina. If you don't know what that oh, is, wow. Lawrence County. Sure it's about this big. <laughs> Literally. If you can, yeah. Um, but anyway, I love my hometown, man, Johnsonville, South Carolina. Uh, I have one sister, Ava, three boys, DJ Nicholas and Owen. Um, music was introduced to me at a time I don't think I recall. Because even when I hear music now, and I can't play a lick. I can't play. I really can't sing either. But when I hear it, it does something to me. It's weird. But anyway, sure. Sure. Uh, my the first uh, knowledge of me coming into what music is or was, was uh, in church, of course. My mother, mm -hmm. um, my, my father was a pastor, but my mother was over the choirs and she was a musical director and things of that nature. So that was one of my first experiences of music uh, in and of itself. And then therefore, after that, I started, you know, going other places. One of my first cassettes, me and my mother was just talking about this the other day, was uh, Bobby Brown. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm the pastor's kid, but listen, Bobby Brown is on the first. It's well, the first well, on the list. <laughs> well, listen, at, at this time, he was a deacon. He was a deacon. Then. Okay. But yeah, I was okay. the deacon son, so I could get away with a few things. But anyway. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my first cassettes, uh, Bobby Brown, Big Daddy Kane, New Kids on the Block. 
Yeah. Wow. Uh, this is definitely a jambalaya, like you said earlier. <laughs> this is quite a mix here. <laughs> and lastly, ghetto boys. <laughs> Balance is important in life. All right. So I see. <laughs> so, uh, but that was one of my first experiences. But after that, I would start to listen to music around my uncles um, and stuff. Mm. And so when I would listen to certain songs, they'd be like, ah, uh -uh, they ain't doing nothing but sampling this. This is what they playing. Boom. And it would always be these old school songs that maybe they didn't get the the uh, notoriety or the, the, the respect that they should have. But you would hear that they took certain parts of it and sampled and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And then one of my first, first loves, um, because of them, went to Prince. And oh, yes. yes. His, that's my favorite. I got a story for that, but I can't get into that because that's another story. You, you got to share that with me off the air. <laughs> okay. It, it's a, it, was a it, 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 it was a good experience, but it turned bad because the girl I was with didn't have a, a respect for or understanding who Prince was. And I had gotten free tickets at the Colonial Center. Uh, I think Damian Ross was working at the uh, box office and he said, hey, bro, he's like, you like Prince? I said, yeah, man. He was like, I got tickets to the show and I said, you better be playing with me. This brother gave me six free tickets to see Prince they say he was going to retire then, right? So I'm oh. crushing on this girl and I'm like, yeah, you should come on. You know, come oh, on. Oh, that's a kill the vibe. My, in my mind, I'm like, oh, you can't. I know I got it on lock now. She, I'm screaming like a girl at the show. She's sitting there, I mean, like, I mean, it's okay, but I don't understand why. I'm like, what? Like, it's and I can't even really say why I was going ham. Oh, it was a first oh, okay. moment for me. You know, the first moments you go back to, and it, and when he came from under the, the stage playing the guitar with his mouth, and <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know so, that that's blasphemy in my household because literally I named my son Prince after Prince. That <laughs> my son. That is my son's name for that reason. Exactly. Anybody that knows me knows that it's the reason why. Listen, listen, and all you MJ fans, no disrespect to MJ, but he can't No see disrespect Prince. at all. He can't see mm. Prince. That's all I'm saying. They're but totally anyway. different. You can't even compare. They're totally no. different brackets. I hate when people put I them in the like same you. box. <laughs> God can use you. So listen, so <laughs> but I became so fond of Prince because um, I used to, uh, even as I think all the way back to like 10 or 11, I would always at the church listen to the big damn quiet storm. You mm. remember the quiet storm back in the day? Oh yeah, I do. Oh, I do for God. sure. It was something about that. Just listening to the quiet storm that was so peaceful, so serene. You hear all these, you know, the stylistics, the Manhattan's Prince. Oh you know, yeah. He sweat. Man, and whatever it was, for whatever reason, uh, it impacted me, so I, I really think it had an, an effect on me whenever I was going through school and stuff. But I would hear Prince. I'd be in the fifth realm of sleep, and I'll wake up when I hear Prince. You hear me? Fifth realm. When he do a door, he hit that high note. Oh God! Listen, <laughs> Lord. Listen. So we're gonna we need to bring it back on the seventh Sunday because we can talk about Prince for an hour. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sure. sorry. No, 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 you're okay. No, no, no. I, look, y'all who know me know I don't mind. I can go all day. <laughs> I can go Listen, all day. I'm all right. Good. So, so you you pretty much answered my next question. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're definitely rooted in music. That so that's amazing. Um, mm -hmm. but I was going to say, if you're in your car as you are now, what type of music do you listen to, and who are your favorite artists? And you've answered that. So kudos. That's great. So let's no. talk a little bit about. Don't can you not don't minimize my can I, I just need to say okay, like, let's do people, it. Let's come on. People don't know let's this. Do it. Like, but okay. my days I listen to a lot of um sometimes rock and roll and Frankie Beverly and Maze. That's my most of the time. That's why I'm playing most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's good. That's good. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. Like a little comp. Do you also have your little your little mix there? Your little mix. Yeah. You listen to your Frankie Beverly and Maze, yeah, go to yeah. some gospel but, and then come back. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's balanced. Because <laughs> you know? see, to be honest. I think that gospel now has the color that R and B lacks, but at one time R and B had the same had more color in it than than gospel did. But the, the roles have switched now, and so like I listen. You to mean they switched stuff. back because you know a lot of soul came from church. Always, yeah. I'm never no no no. Okay. But I'm saying about, so okay. For the era when I, I was I'm, I was born in '82. So okay. my my you know I was listening to the Jodeci and all this other stuff and the, just the music arrangements of what's the name which a lot of gospel musicians produce for those uh, those uh, R and B and but like for whatever reason now 
when you listen to R and B, it doesn't have that richness and that color that it once had before. I see what you're saying. And I that's, see. That's, I know exactly what, what you mean. Yeah, but, and yeah. that's pretty much my playlist. Like literally, before we even got on today, I am listening to '90s R and B. That is my playlist, and and I usually dive deeper, especially with my Spotify. I'll go to one artist. I'm like, you know, I really like this artist. Oh, I like this song. Let me go to the artist or this song radio just so I can get. I I I'll go down the rabbit hole of R and B music from the '90s. Now today <laughs> is no comparison at all. There's no long Longevity, there is no substance, it's nothing. Yeah. It's like it's almost like a watered down rap music now. It's you know, um, so uh, again, so we're gonna kind of backtrack and talk a little bit about Seven Sunday again. So, okay. um, you did you launched it, you launched it last year, um, but the, the COVID we started 2019. No? We've been doing this. 20, oh, wow, 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 yeah. my like apologies. Started- yeah, 2019, and like it, even then the progression of it. But we started in a small room downtown the Main Street, like 77 people, and we had to go from there to Pearls, when Pearls the Truth, from there to the weekend. Then we went to JW Gala. Um, but we. But was that? But was it always like the live recording, almost like television mm-hmm. production, or is that that's right. what's new? Right. Okay. So that's okay. What, I just want to be sure. So we started because of COVID, where you, what, as what you were saying, we were doing numbers mm-hmm. like 350 plus people at a show. But oh, COVID wow. came and it knocked our legs from under us. So I was like, you can't call yourself the only or best recurring live theme music show and you quit because of COVID. So right. I was like, all right, y'all, we going virtual. And I was scared because I was like, one thing about virtual, any thing that you have that's lacking is going to be heard in that moment vocally oh yeah yeah so oh, you yeah. Gotta, that's church on sundays listen it's not good when you're there yeah, you but right. if you at home and you hear what people are actually doing in the mic you, ooh, it's you, different it's a different type of vibe let me tell you live music saves sound <laughs> <laughs> that's why i am definitely appreciative of it i probably sound like jasmine sullivan at karaoke but let me do this <laughs> you know oh. all right awesome yeah, so man. so so when is the launch? Because you haven't read, you haven't done it yet. You're gonna oh. relaunch when? Oh, Let's talk about it. Said, listen, we, there's some tickets, some tickets still out there. So we okay. over the time because we were going doing virtual, we, were, we would have anywhere almost seven thousand plus views doing our virtual shows. And I was like, me and my sound engineer was talking. He's like, you need to go to TV. So we we on TV now every Saturday midnight, like we said. But because of that, everybody, when I'm out now, is always like, when are you guys going back live? When are you going back live? Well, I guess I'll say it here. May 9th, Mother's Day, we are going okay. back live. Tickets are now on sale. Um, you can go on our website. That's also on there. Um, for, we're going to do a live, mm-hmm, live recording mm. um, for TV. So, you know, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. We back at it. Everybody's Apparently, everybody's happy. We dropped the link. I hadn't been able to see it because my phone has been locked out because I don't remember my app ID. But, um, in the hour that we dropped it, I think we sold like 40, 50 tickets instantly. Like, wow. It, well, I yeah. need to get me a ticket. I'm, so I know with COVID and everything like that, you guys are probably going to be doing the social you know distance it. thing. So what is going to be the limit? Um, it's only 175. 175. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, guys, y'all better get those tickets. <laughs> yeah, I, I, okay. I honestly, by the end of this week, I don't anticipate there being any. Um, but um, and that was the point of it. Like, but one, we have to be safe. I had COVID back after Thanksgiving, and I Same. cannot, with good conscience, have people in the atmosphere where they may get get it and and sleep at night. So that's the reason why we have to limit it. We also have to enforce mm-hmm. you no know, COVID guidelines and things of that nature. But the vibe, the energy is still going to be there. It's going to be dope because we're actually doing the live recording for real, for real. Not not like how we do it now in the production studio and then we put mm-hmm. it together and cut it up and put it out. Like it's going to be live and in the flesh. So it's going to be dope. Oh, man. live in the flesh. Yes. <laughs> and a, lot of people, a lot of people miss it um, because the, the thing about Seven Sunday is while you do get live live music is more than that it's 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 you're getting a late night talk show you're getting games you're getting trivia giveaway you're getting information about businesses you know you get into network there's so many other things going on and then the quality of the production that we put together i think has really for those who know of it has really made a staple that they really respect it and um those that have come from our time we get people that come every month houston atlanta uh greensboro you know, because some of our artists are from out of town, too. But these people mm-hmm. travel that they don't live in Columbia, but they come in because of what they have been exposed to. And so I really think that once Columbia and their surrounding areas catch the wave or whatever, it might be too late. But it, it, they need to get That's on the way. That's usually how it is. 
That's usually yeah. how it is. Yeah. So um, how much are the tickets and where where are you guys filming from? Like, what is the location? And so, so how much tic- how much are tickets and where's the location? So the tickets vary anywhere from 50 to $100. Um, okay. And then, because uh, everybody's VIP, this is not a like a okay. normal event where you got just only these people get seats. So this is going on. Everybody's VIP. So there are certain things that come with that. And when they uh, sound Ooh, the link, perks. They be, yeah, they should be able to see that. Um, but okay. um, we going we're going to be at JW Gala. We're going back there. Okay. Um, because uh, that's where we we ended at. And we're coming back with the show that we ended on, which was supposed to be Hitsville, USA, aka Motown. Ooh. Um I, got I can't it. and I can't tell y'all who we're gonna have, but I because I, you know, it's personal for me. I think I might hit you, hit the city real hard, and, and they'll have to hear about it via TV or either people talking about it because they came to it. Mm-hmm. But it's gonna be one. It's worth it because I know somebody yep. when they saw that just now, it's like fifty, hundred dollars. Who they think they is? Listen, right, right. I, I'm like, what come with that? <laughs> I live ticket shows. I live ticket shows prior to COVID was thirty dollars just to get in the door. Okay, so people who know what mm-hmm. quality seven Sunday brings. That number doesn't mean anything. They know it's worth mm-hmm. it. So you when you when you when you you know that the money you're paying is worth what you're investing in, it's, it, numbers don't matter. And I promise you, and I bet you, I used to do this whenever we we first started. I bet people that if they did not enjoy themselves, I give them their money back double. I promise you, if, if you come in, when, I'm not lying. And they, and I'm not saying it because it's mine, but I'm saying okay. it because I I I know what what my team consists of. I got you know um. Tiffany J, she does all my graphics and she's my creative director. That's my girl. Uh, David <laughs> Pendergrass of Free Thinkers Radio. I got Marquise Wallace, Content Media. Uh, he's a monster behind that screen. I got my admin team, fan. It's everybody. My band, they they lock. And that's why I love people who have a passion for what they do that you don't have to necessarily micromanage them because they're right. so, you know, you, you know what Driven I mean? Driven and self-motivated, they're going to get it done. Yes. And that's Period. how you, that's how you create quality. You, people who want right. ex- I, I, and so that's one of the things I've I've heard about the show and about the 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 what we do too is that they see the excellence behind it. Watch Fox even uh, noted it like the quality of the show that we're putting out is. I mean, listen, let me say this real quick because I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not. But say what you want, <laughs> but but mind your language. <laughs> the, the, the slot that we are in, I want to say if uh, uh, Drea told me um, PR shout out Drea. Um, What's up, girl? That, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think it was like in the negative before or point nine. And like now I think we're like right at two or over two point. And we're on doing Saturday Night Live and Jimmy Kimmel. So wow. yeah, yeah. Like that's TV. And that like and that's what I think we started promo in the hole because we didn't even do uh commercials initially. That was because mm-hmm. of the, the reach and the support that we had. But like I'm telling you, we're gonna be nationally syndicated and by, and I hate to say it. And it's whatever reason, but I hope this spirit breaks in in South Carolina real quick. That mm-hmm. we stop, um, that we support creatives and people that are putting out quality and products that we can be proud of and come on board. Not when the world they is blow up. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's yeah, how yeah, South Carolina does. That's how they do. And people feel mm-hmm. like, I, and I get it to a degree. And I'm gonna tell you why. We were having this conversation Sunday after we got done doing our production. And they were like, some people feel that their support isn't essential in the beginning whenever you're building up. Because mm. because when they said that, I said, well, what about Beyonce? Beyonce got it, and everybody go support her and buy her stuff. But the person that they know they see around the way on the regular, they don't even think twice about. And so mm. uh, one thing about Seven Sunday, that's why I put emphasis on South Carolina artists, because I wanted to give a platform where they could grow and be advertised. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? That's, right. that's my way right. as a means of support. Of course, you know, they're compensating and stuff when they come, but that's my way as a means of support to say, hey, I, I I like your art. I like what you got going on. Here, let me give you a platform to showcase what you got. Um, you know, that in a in a size room where, you know, you'll be able to touch some people, you know what I'm saying? And they'll support you. Right. Um, that's my contribution or our way of seven Sunday uh highlighting artists um around the way or whatever. Because a lot of people, you know, you feel that you these cats right. are pouring their their heart and soul in the music that they're making. And, you know, sometimes you feel like, especially sometimes it's the people that's closest to you. Family and friends should be there, you know, but it's, that's not always the case. Um, but that's what we, we're uh, a part of what we're doing at Seven Sunday as well. Okay. Yeah. 
So you, you've answered a couple of my questions. You, you're doing, you're on a roll and I love it. I love it. I definitely love, and I can hear your passion and I love it. So we're definitely going to be connecting after the show today. So mm-hmm. guys, if you're just tuning in, I am here with the creator, executive producer of seven Sundays live, uh, Dion Generate. The show airs at midnight on watch not midnight Saturday into Sunday. Cause you got to keep the name Sunday uh, on watch Fox 57 here in Columbia. And it, and it airs in seven, uh, 11 counties. I did my research, 11 uh-huh. counties. Um, you can also check it out on the website that's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. That's number seven, Sunday.live. Um, and Tia, so D- excuse me, Dion, so what what type of music can we expect? I know we talked about music, but um, what types, what genres can we expect? Drea, if you see this, we had this conversation. So, because... <laughs> because, hmm um, I love all all genres of music. I'm open to all genre, genres of music. My only uh, situation is that is that uh, because of the brand that we cre- created, the music mm-hmm. must be quality. And when I say quality, I'm talking about even the, the lyrics need to be clean. Um, so some rappers, we hadn't had any rappers, but we have had spoken word artists. Okay, that's dope. So that's still dope. Spoken word artists, comedians, any of that stuff, um, they can be featured on the show as well. And, um, you know, R&B, jazz, rock, all any type of music for the most part. But like I said, we're just no disrespect because I love rap and hip hop. But on mm-hmm. my platform that I created, nah, this time around. Not today. Okay, <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> and, um, and, and I got to I got like me, you just talked. Right. And I think mm-hmm. all of us, you know, no matter how sophisticated you are, you got a little ratchet side in you. But Everybody. yeah, but. Mm-hmm. But what I've created and what I wanted it to be, I, I want to keep the richness and the clean and the quality of it. And so because of that, um, I you know, we can't. Yes. Yeah. I got you. Maybe. I totally understand. It's your brand and you you get to you get to be selfish with what you want to have. Don't let people yeah. tell you what you can and can't do with what represents you, you know, and, and I get that. Um, and I think that we could change that narrative if, you know, rappers. And I'm not telling people how to self-express themselves, just like I'm telling you, you you have every right to to have what you want on your show. Because I I used to rap, I used to sing, I did all of that. And so I understand the stigma that comes with with rap music. It's 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 not great, you know. No. And, and and so I understand I totally understand and I respect you um for even saying that because some people might be afraid from you know backlash from that. Um mm-hmm. so of course. Um, I have two questions surrounding uh, Seven Sunday as well. So, why the name Seven Sunday? Well, as I just told you on this interview on Sundays for our family, that was like a day of bliss. You know, my father. Mm-hmm. You know, we get up in the morning, everybody prepared. My mother would have music, gospel music playing if she wasn't singing, um, and be cooking at the same time. We leave, go to service, come home, eat together, watch a game or something. At the end of the night. Dion would go down the hall to his bedroom and he would listen to Quiet Storm. And like I told you okay, earlier, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just kind of uh for me, it did something for me. I think it, it it led me into with church and then listening to that 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 music that soothed me, it gave me a peace for the week. And oftentimes now in adult life, a lot of people, especially when y'all was going into work before COVID, let y'all stay at home. Mm. Everybody be like, Lord, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I do not want to go to work on Monday. Well, That's the other thing. One girl told me that it was a drug. She was like, you really need to do it more than one second Sunday a month. She was like, because it literally takes you on the high. Like my artists, a lot of my artists are gospel singers. Um, mm. but yeah. And like they revamped their songs according to the theme. For instance, we got we did a Motown part one. Tia Renee is on there and her song was called Jesus. But she changed the 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 uh, composition of the song. So you when you hear it at first, you think in Motown, but when it's you love, yeah, okay. she's saying Jesus, like so. Mm. So I, I feel because um, I have that conversation a lot too, and I think I'm deviating from where, I, where we're supposed to be talking about. No, but, no, I, I love it. <laughs> um, a lot of uh, people I've heard, you know, still come back from supposed pastors of people talking about how uh, I'm convoluting gospel artists and singers and things of that nature. Um, I don't, I don't subscribe to that one because I don't coerce anybody to come on the platform, but I mm-hmm. do encourage it because 
I believe that the music that you sing, and like I said, it's clean quality music, right? So there's no mm -hmm. music talking nasty and stuff, even though, you know, outside I, I have performed when I used to be with Savage Gents. But like, as far as my platform goes, there's no nasty, overly sensual music or none of that. It's clean. Even then, uh, mm -hmm. we had Patrick Fortune from The Voice came. And... Oh my goodness. Adore Prince. And mm -hmm. like I, I my mother, a lot of people, it was a pastor there. Uh, uh and they we literally it was in a moment of worship because he told us to go around and we began loving on each other and stuff. So like I don't subscribe to it gotta be gospel or CCM in order for God to be in it. I mm -hmm. I would encourage to say that seven Sunday, you come, you will feel a presence <laughs> and it won't be your drink or whatever you got going on sometimes because of the artists and where they're coming from when they sing. Because just because it's the, the oil. Is, it's the oil. The oil it's is on everywhere. You. The oil travels. Hey, it's on you. <laughs> people be talking. Oh, see, you about to make me go there. People be talking about Jesus, but Jesus wasn't in church. He was in the streets. So you can take the anointing, the gift that's on your life, and go in places and change the place, and not let the place change. Amen. You. So, Amen. So, you you better you better stop before you start you start something <laughs> here now. You no, preach. I'm just you preach it. The, the 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 ideology of the fact that when you're using a gift that comes from God, it must be done in the place that's quote unquote been deemed sanctified. When in fact, Jesus himself was out with the wine beggars. He was in the streets. He was with all the people, tax collectors. He was with, he was around them, impacting them. He had to give so, people something to talk about. If, if Jesus didn't do all that, people wouldn't talk about. That's what so, he did. So, about. so, so, you know, some of the criticism that comes, I don't subscribe to that, but like the music and the vibe and the energy, you know, even from me hosting my DJ, DJ Lock Shy, um, just everybody, when you walk in, it's a, a welcoming thing. We don't even have a large amount of security because everybody that comes has the understanding. That. We're coming to have a good time. You, right. you see what I'm saying? Like, and it's right. adult. The mayor has been, um, Melissa Linda from like the city of Columbia that has been our sponsor on the TV show. Like a lot of people come that, you know, whoever people deem to be whatever. And they, they trust it because they know that it's quality entertainment and it's a good time. And so okay. um, that's that's what we try to do more than anything. Make sure that the vibe is good, the energy is good, um, that we leave people on on a positive note, feeling good when they leave seven Sunday. That you know, like I said, they go into their week like, hey, I'm ready to conquer it. Like yo, last night was right. good. It's like, I'm on a good high, you know. Okay, well that's awesome, and I, I definitely appreciate that. I, I I I know what music can do for people, especially coming out of this season of COVID. We're still in the season; it's just not as strong. But we, hey, music is healing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so, before uh, we wrap up today, um, I want to know: so, how are people getting on the show? Are you hosting auditions? How well, does that work? I'm going to do two things, right? So one, okay, the way one. you can now you can be on the show uh, or email your submissions to info at seven sunday dot live um and mm -hmm. we'll take in the submissions but you're still gonna right. be have a, yep you're gonna have an opportunity mm -hmm. to also still be featured on the show you want to know why well soon we'll be introducing a segment which uh will highlight the submissions that you submit by email and what mm -hmm. we're going to do is allow you 15 seconds on screen almost like the voice or something like that Mm -hmm. And the audience will go to our website to vote on who they think we should have on the show. TV oh. who's, who's going to be like, we'll still, we'll still, we'll still <laughs> make our votes, but TV will now have uh, an option to help us choose what acts do they deem quality enough by what they've seen on Seven Sunday to continue to be a part of it. Okay. So, all right, guys. Well, all the information is going to be right there on the screen. That is the email. If you are interested in submitting um, an audition, that is there right there. It's info at sevensunday.live. Again, um, at the bottom of the screen is how you can check it out. Watch Fox 57, 7, I mean, 12 midnight in the morning going into Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, is, is how you can check that out. And you can also, again, check that out on that website. Um, and again, I am here with Dion Jenneret. He is the creator the executive producer of Seven Sunday Live. Um, and guys, you're hearing it here. Make sure you get your tickets because they are limited, $60 to $100. It is an experience you are paying for. He has a surprise guest. I'm definitely interested to know who it is. I might be able to squeeze that out of him today, um, but not on air. <laughs> he says no, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Um, and so you have Facebook and Instagram. I do have his Instagram, guys. If you want to follow um, Seven Sunday on IG, that is at Seven Sunday Live. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to keep that information up there, too. And again, Dion, thank you so much for joining us and um, and telling me all this great information, telling us all of this great information, because we, we we as South Carolinians need to do better about supporting our own. And I think this is an incredible project that is coming right out of here, out of the Carolinas and surrounding areas, because, you know, people like to travel through, you know, travel through the state or whatever. And and I think that's amazing what you're doing. And it's so creative and it's it's. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's exhilarating. Um, so again, all the information is right there. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Go ahead. You, you I ain't give any room. <laughs> no, you good. You good. Listen, I'm just saying, like, I, you know, like I, I really would encourage everybody. Like I, uh, I used to say it before when I used to be out in the street passing out flyers. Hey, come one time. If you don't like it, don't come no more. But we hadn't had. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 a legitimate. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm asking you to give me your resources to something that is I'm telling you is of quality, but it may not to be to the quality that you're wanting. So, right. you know, but you don't know oftentimes you get, cause I hear all the time, well, ain't nothing going on in Columbia. Ain't nothing to do in Columbia. Well, that's a lie. I that's cause that. when there's something going on, you ain't coming. <laughs> cause, it, cause it's a bunch of stuff, you know, um, mm-hmm. Mike Stone, Terrence Young, the boy, Steve Ray, my boys, uh, Jay, <laughs> always got stuff going on. So there's always stuff going on. But what I did with seven Sunday is gave it where like, it's a marker. I want to make a statement by South Carolina that, hey, we got some dope artists. We got some dope entertainment. We got some stuff going on here that y'all need to know about because we got some dope hidden gems in South Carolina that people don't know about vocally. And, uh, you know, I just want to highlight them and have a good time while we do it. Right. I definitely appreciate it. But again, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And thank you so much, Dion, for joining me. Thank you for letting me be on your show. Awesome. Awesome. (laughs) Yes, man. All right. All right, guys, well, make sure that you guys go get your tickets again. I will have that information at the bottom of the screen. Boom, there it goes. Don't forget to get your tickets. They are limited, all right? So um, I want to thank Dion again for joining me, and I want to thank you guys on the other side of the screen for checking out my show. Be sure to follow me on social media. That is facebook.com. Sierra Artemis TV and on YouTube. That is Sierra Artemis. Make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on. Um, Also, I want to thank our sponsor today. Our sponsor today was um, and is Master's Touch Massage Therapy. Uh, Make sure you treat yourself. You deserve it. That's their slogan. Uh, And be sure to check them out, too, guys. I have the information on my website. Um, So I have a little teaser. Um, I stole it. Sorry, Dion. I apologize later. Um, but I stole a little teaser just to give you guys a taste of what you can expect at um, Seven Sunday Live so that you can check it out in person, get your tickets, or you can check it out on the website or on Watchbox 57. So there you go, guys.